shoulder got dislocation before or motorbike accident or sudden pull or you fall down you twist something and pull and this one dislocation so will affect the frozen shoulder then the second thing you know like collarbone from this part to this part a hit or using strength or punch or anything or car accidents or even a fall down from uh, bicycle or motorbike this part slightly misaligned so will affect also frozen shoulder and the third one ah, now, a lot of people like uh, playing computers, handphone, PDA, and a lot of uh, things due to the neck not in the right position, a 90 degree like this. If you, your, your neck off step or slightly protrude or not in the right position also will affect your frozen shoulder. And the uh, fourth one is called the shoulder plate. This shoulder plate is like a like chicken ring. The chicken ring, the back, back here. One, two, three, one piece, one big piece. Uh, if you're not in the right alignment, actually shoulder they have a, the back shoulder you can move up, down, left, right and rotate in and out. So this one mechanism, we call it stagnant. So also will affect the frozen shoulder. And the last one, the SCM muscle, all the way down the big trapezium muscle, we call it from neck until back here, all the way down to here. The muscle not in balance, like a golfer, a golfer or anything spot with using one hand, we call it imbalance muscle, also very easy to cause of frozen shoulder. Alright, and frozen shoulder, what is the definition of frozen shoulder? Shoulder means frozen, your shoulder inside the fridge, you just imagine you put your, your shoulder in the, in, the, uh, in the fridge, what you got? After take up, you have to defrost, huh? if not then your head is stagnant, it's very very painful. So usually for, for two cases, it's very painful is one is a frozen shoulder. And the second one is very painful in a, what I call the bone setting one, it's called a heel spur. The heel spur and you try to snap it and break it the spur also very painful so frozen shoulder due to a lot of people know hey, uh, how can i cause a frozen the due majority of the frozen shoulder due to the driving and a lot of people thought it's uh, after sleep then suddenly uh, my hand cannot lift up no no because of due to mechanism is the line a lot of people driving car driving car means it is a car i drive i drive until destination okay i'm here already what should i do so i put my hand at the back and look for my laptop yeah my laptop is here and look for my water bottle yeah my water bottle is here i find for anything or something drop at the back and take ah a lot of people got a frozen shoulder is due to because of a passenger seat next to you passenger seat you are here so you put your hand at the back and find 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 after you get it ready your head your you got a laptop back everything so you try to move it to the front correct not Move it to the front, but here, passenger is blocked you. So you have to over and this side. And after that, you hear very, very, uh, very, very, you hear some small sound over the neck. You hear check, one sound only, check, one sound. After that, you feel very unconfident on the neck, something like this. Ah, very unconfident. No problem one. Now after that, you sleep. Day one, wake up. Day two, wake up. Day 3, wake up. Day 4, wake up. And day 7, after day 7, after you wake up, eh, my head cannot lift up. Lift up eh, because of uh, 
when you're driving, you put your hand at the back and you actually your shoulder mechanism slightly misaligned one gap. Whatever yeah, this one shoulder misaligned one gap will affect what? The frozen shoulder. And uh, usually frozen shoulder uh, caused by a frozen shoulder of course your driving affect and sudden pull also will affect and sometimes you know like uh, Singapore and also Hong Kong you can see all my message quite a number a lot of people from Hong Kong frozen shoulder and Hong Kong it's due to in uh, they they are always using the transport of the like a uh, subway uh, what I call it uh, MRT LRT something like that they are holding on the train then the train suddenly stop you actually injured. you don't know sometimes you ah wow very uncomfortable then after that slowly slowly you will develop frozen shoulder we call it Wu Shi Tian follow me actually mechanism on the shoulder this part let's say example uh, I got a shoulder on the this one you cannot lift up you can tap you can check right now together with me all right follow me eh? okay try to lift up two hands together and yeah this one can lift up but this one cannot look very painful with my left side okay how about sideway my sideway also cannot okay sure some people can up and some people until here, even some people until here, I can see your guys, some is until here and some is more higher, but you still can lift up next to it here. And this is called shoulder problem. And even up, yes, yes, correct, very good, very good. Try to up higher, little bit higher, little bit higher. Yeah, I know, yeah, yeah. You feel the pain, eh? you feel the pinch on, on top over here. Very good. So this is also a shoulder problem. Okay, how about follow me like this? Put over this side. Yes, yes, correct. Uh, ouch! Yes, I hear you shout. Yes, correct. You feel this part pain. Yeah, this pulling is not pain, it's very cool. This part and this part. This is also caused by frozen shoulder or shoulder problem. And the last one, follow me with this one. I want you to put ha ah, like this and try to rotate. You see, yeah? this normal hand can rotate until 90 degrees. Okay, slowly. Rotate, rotate, rotate. Yes, some more, little bit more. Little bit more. Try your best. Painful there, eh? shop pain over this side. Yes, if you got the either one of this, either side or touch or up or side, also painful. Nah, means you got a shoulder problem. But don't worry, now I want you to follow me. Okay, you just now check back your check back your until where. Alright, yes, correct. Your until about your eyes to your elbow. Yeah, correct. Your knife to elbow before and after. Before and after uh, DIY, see what's the result. How about sideway? Maximum, try to maximum. Uh, yeah, yeah. Like this, okay? I can see you until right here. Very painful. And sideway, okay? See back on your position, see on your leg or your any pillar or the door side. Rotate. Yeah, no painful. Until here. Alright. Marking your point over the side. And the last one, touch over here. Good. Alright, so you know, just now I can see already your hand is until here, eye level to your elbow and sideways not even 90 degree and the sideways only let not more than 45 degree and this one cannot touch your shoulder. Alright, so follow with me. Do this one. We call it uh, Crystal Method Frozen Shoulder DIY. <laughs> Alright, very easy. Uh, usually you can see all my video, I can uh, put uh, the ear on the side and the line back and you hear a sound uh, uh, like this uh, after the person can leave up the technique is called rotate this is a shoulder with alignment we call it off of a gap and what you do is compress over here open up the shoulder plate and this is uh, in and out like a uh, white call breaking the point breaking up the uh, open up the door and point so easy you put over here what I do, I want you to snap in, snap in, snap in. Because snap in in the 45 angle, you push out back. Then other than that, you can feel your hand is All right, the technique is very easy. This frozen shoulder, you put the hand on your next to your ear and just touch it. Oh, like this. And the second one, there have a few criteria to follow. The second one, try to using your nose, same level with your, same level with your elbow. Okay center line to elbow to your nose level and the third one from the side way from this side you see so from the nose to the elbow also same same level to vertical line down vertical line down means like this so like this same line from see the front also same line so you can see this is a nose 
elbow like this and like this is the same. So you make it the elbow same level, to your nose level like this and same level to like this. Okay, got it. And follow me. If your your house got a table, um, table or chair or sofa or like this height also can follow me what I do. Eh? can do on the chair like this or you can do on here also this because of this is a black color for you to see so I make it easier and straight to the point by using small chair like this just follow my field step shoulder hand I want you to make your whole body comfortable no standing too straight after you don't know how to down you like feeling like two knee on the uh, on the bed or chair doesn't matter you see I on the this one also there just uh, this idea easy for me to do so for me anything called a flat surface I can do already like this okay very easy follow touch on here and the the elbow same line you see nah, this is called same line alright then the segment same line not too up, not too up, and not too in. If like this, no efficient because why? Your nose is offset. Whatever you can have price strength. This one and this one is the same. It's the same. Elbow and nose same level. Okay, if you are Western country, your nose is higher, longer, fall with doesn't matter, like fall back. <laughs> okay, like this. Huh? Like this. And this is a secret what you do. I want you to breathing. Hold on a year only, but you know, huh, so tired, so boring. Breathing in, out, in, out, and in, and just hold your body, whole body release and rest. Uh, ah, like this. So you just imagine you are in a school, suddenly, uh, like this, down, sudden jerk. This is strength that I want you to do. Alright, follow up. Eh? One, two, breathing in, out. In, out, and in, and release all your energy and snap down for a while. Ha! Like this, yeah. Hear the small sound, tick. Whatever you hear the tick sound already, then should be your, your shoulder should be okay. Okay, how about we check on the another side, okay? Like this. In, same, same. Breathing. Out. Second time in, out, and the third one. Huh. Yes, correct, perfect. And how about this side? The four angle for you to see, see clearance. Because why after that you, your hand like this are, your hand like this are, your hand like this are not correct. Then after that, no efficient, no efficient, then no good luck. Our first place will give you best of best and give you more efficient one now. Okay, <laughs> okay, like this, same way. No, same level the elbow and lift your elbow and breathing one time second time I know it's painful I know I know you don't get to do but trust me and the time just relax and release and let go ah, ah yes correct all right so you guys did it how do you feel yes correct you feel some sound over here Suck. this sound is called the mechanism is the line one gap just very normal we call it vibration to push up back to the position so all right now we check back together all right check back okay this hand up oh no problem you can hide just on this one uh, nose level i can see your guys know that level now you slowly lift up oh yeah yeah see? no more restraint i feel loosen wow good no pain, huh? Perfect. Now how about second sideway? Just out until 90 degrees, yes. Yeah. Now, you see? Higher, you see? Your hand is more over 90 degrees. You feel much more better. Alright, perfect. How about third one? Now, see? Very easy, you can touch on the shoulder. Just now, it's like this, cannot. Now, I can touch it slowly, can until your palm. Alright, and the last one. 
Okay, just now you rotate until 45 degree only. Now slowly. Yes, just now at this point. Oh, now I can move more. Yes, now it's this point. So at least you can see the the positioning is the different. But always remember, whatever you did, uh, frozen shoulder already, try to avoid tree movement. Okay? For the, by method, uh, my method. Try to avoid, cannot do. Cannot do, don't put your head at the back. Never. Never, trust me. You, if you don't believe it, you put your head at the back. After that, you cannot lift up anymore. You are until here, pin back. Back to the normal. That's why a lot of people say, Wait, Chris, after you do a frozen shoulder, it's really good. But after two weeks, uh, that's the two weeks, about 10 days, come back again. Why then? If it means correct, means correct. Uh, how come after 10 days, you will come back again? Come back is due to your... <sighs> not uh, not follow instruction. Uh. <laughs> and then it's lying again. Uh, but then it's lying back to the normal. You call it the uh, still not. Whatever done already, you have to give yourself rest or using a string to leave it for two weeks to repairing and self-healing. After two weeks later, then you should do some exercise. Try to remember, try to avoid three movement. One, don't put your hand in the back. Never. Especially you want to wear your bra. Especially girl, you want to wear a bra. Try these two weeks, no wear bra. <laughs> you can wear in front and push at the back. Then the second one, no twist like this. No like like throwing throwing thing at the back. Throw back like this. No. And the third one, no sudden pull. Let, just imagine like a luggage or what. You want to pull sudden pull. No. Try to avoid this three movement. No, put your hand at the back, no twist and no pull. And after two weeks later, ah, I feel better. Uh, what should you do? You guys do exercise. This is a frozen shoulder. You are using another hand to support and lift it up. Ah, like this one, two, three, four. Do ten times. See, it's a loosen up back mechanism. Okay. And suddenly, do a spider crawl. Yeah, this is the walk. Correct. Up, 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 Stretching this is a wall and stretching and fun also this is a wall and try to stretch it pull back mechanism and also try to avoid don't take any sour things and don't take any like uh, 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 what I call too many calcium or protein because why he call it will stagnate your mechanism okay remember you can go back and try and practice on this part uh, especially frozen shoulder you can see the effectiveness of course a lot of people yes correct what you say is right. You feel better, yes, I can see. So, whatever the techniques, you know, a lot of people enjoy we cut back due to put your hand on the back and twist it. That's why, after sleep, wake up, sleep, wake up. After seven days or five days, the can cannot move, it's due to mechanism is aligned. And the second thing, like uh, what I call you are like you using the subway transport in uh, MRT or LRT or subway or what, then the, the, the train move and move. So, this one mechanism is jerk. Also affect a frozen shoulder or bicycle, bicycle fall down or injury or dislocation also will affect a frozen shoulder. All right, and cap and do back on this technique. Stem level with your nose and stem flat here and stem level. Then try to breathing three times and in and out. Release your air and whole body like like you know you got a one yeah one roof for you. Sudden cut and drop. That's all. On it. Now today, check back your shoulder. And this is uh, quite effective and you can see. If you're too painful, some people that have a straight away can see improve. Then you have to rest more. After that ready, you feel better. But don't move too much on this on your shoulder problem. Alright. And thank you very much. And I'm Chris Leung. And thanks for watching. And thanks for your guys' support. And thank you for all your comments everything. And uh, this uh, this one.